Hi, I'm Mrs. Edwards, and we're going to factor binomials today. When you're factoring binomials, I want to start with saying it doesn't matter how many terms that you have in a polynomial, your very first thought should be, is there something in common to all of the terms? If there is something in common to all of the terms, you need to factor that out first. With that being said, if there are two terms, it's got to be a formula. So we're going to start by just going over the formulas before we look at some specific examples. The two that are the easiest, I would say, a squared minus b squared, that's called the difference of squares. And that equals a plus b times a minus b. That one is relatively easy to remember. When you have a plus between perfect squares, that does not factor. You would just be done. It would kind of be like if I said factor 15, you might turn that into 3 times 5. But if I said factor 17, that's like a tree stump. You're just done. It's 17. We don't use times 1 in factoring, so it would just be prime. All right, so if you have a perfect square in, at the beginning and at the end, if there's a minus in the middle, we have a plus b times a minus b, and if there's a plus in between, it does not factor. All right, the next one is the difference of cubes and the sum of cubes. For the difference of cubes and the sum of cubes, both of these factor. I want to start by looking at the similarities because these are formulas that you should have memorized. In both instances, the formula has an A here and a B here. And in both instances, we're going to have an a squared, a b squared, and then we have an a c, excuse me, a b in the middle. So the two formulas look basically the same. The only thing is, where are we going to put the plus and the minuses? So silly story of the day. Um, just to maybe help you memorize it. In life, we have some good news and we have some bad news. There's really no getting around it. But in life, we would like to have more good news than bad news. So in other words, if good news is a plus sign and bad news is a minus sign, we're going to have more pluses than we are minuses. Then, you've heard the saying, um, we always want to end on a good note. Well, in both of them, we are going to end with the plus, because we'd be ending on a good note. Putting in the plus and minuses in the other places, remembering we're going to have more good news than bad news. We're going to have another plus in each one and another minus in each one. This one here says minus. So if this is minus, it's telling you what to start with. This one is plus, so we're going to start with plus. After that, we're just going to go with the saying that we have more good news than bad news. We've already used up the bad news there, so this is going to be a plus. Here, we've only had good news, and darn it, there's going to be some bad news. So, there it is. Regardless of how you memorize this, you need to know these three formulas for factoring. 